Hello everybody and welcome back. Root Beer here looking at C3 on our 2017 open paper. Let XYZ be an acute angled triangle. Let S be the side length of the square which has two adjacent vertices on YZ. One vertex on XY and one vertex on XZ. Let H be the distance from X to the side uh, YZ, so we'll drop a perpendicular down here. Shortest distance to a line always makes a right angle to that line. Okay, And so if this is a square, I'm sensing there might be some similar triangles here. That triangle similar to that one, and uh, that one similar to that one. And actually we have a bigger one. This one is similar to the whole triangle. Anyway, let's continue on. So. Uh, Call that height h. Uh, the side length here is going to be uh, s. I already said that. And then uh, let b be the base, y to z. Okay. So we've got uh, three questions. There are three parts to the question. A. If the vertices have coordinates x, y, and z, uh, so x is at two, three, uh, two, four, y is at the origin, and z is at four, zero. Find b, h, and s. Uh, B and H won't be that hard to find. And S, this square in here, might need to investigate a bit more about how it's put together. Um, so we could we could solve that pretty quickly. I'm going to read on for the rest of the question just to see what's going on, because it looks like everything involves this picture here. Uh, B, given a height H and S, find base B. So it looks like so in the first one, B and H will not be hard to find. Uh, we need to find S, but it looks like we would probably find a relationship between just H, S, and B. And then C, if the area of the square is 2017, determine the minimum area of the triangle X, Y, Z. Because, you know, just because you have a square, we know the square's side length will be root, 17, uh, root 2017, but you could have a very sharp triangle, or you could have a very, very long triangle. So there's lots of different options. We want the minimum area. Okay. And uh, fortunately, we've got base and height. So already I'm starting to think, well, you might want to get uh, B times H over 2. And that's that's all we need to minimize. Um, so before we get into A, let's, let's just uh, use those similar triangles and investigate this a little bit. Okay, so... Uh, there's lots of similar triangles, so as I said, you know, this this one over here is similar to this. Uh, lengths, we might call this, I don't know exactly what it is, but this is R, this is S, this is T, they make up B. Um, you can also have this triangle is going to be similar to this. How do I know these triangles are similar? Well, we're going to have right angles here because it's a square and an altitude. And then... These blue lines here are parallel. They intersected the same line, so we get the same angle up here in this corner. And so, uh, since we get a bunch of right angle triangles, they're going to be sim uh, similar because they have this nice common angle here. Okay, so that's true. So we might call. Uh, so if we call this up here, h minus the uh, s, because part of this is inside the square. What would we have? Um, this length here. So we got similar triangles. So R over S is the same as this length here over H minus S. So I guess that question mark length is uh, R H minus S over S. So if we got all, call this T, we get uh, T over S is this length here over h minus s. So we're looking at t h minus s over s. And we know these add up to s. So, and uh, r plus t plus s is b. So we can get uh, r plus t over s times h minus s is equal to s r plus t times h minus s is equal to s squared. Um, 
So that's the area of the square right there. And B, uh, R, R, R plus T is B minus S. So this is a nice relationship. Uh, we could expand this out. B H minus B plus H S plus S squared is equal to S squared. This cancels out the S squareds on both sides. And we can get what I would argue is a simpler relationship. Uh, B times H is the same as S times B plus H. And uh, I'm thinking of minimums later on. I'm thinking arithmetic geometric mean for C. But uh, what do we know? Well, for A, it was origin. I think it was 2, 4. And then uh, what was it? Uh, 4, 0. So y, z, x. So h is clearly going to be 4 because y, z is on the x-axis. And b is going to be 4. So 16, 4 times 4 is s times 8. 4 plus 4. s has got to be 2. And now I don't actually have to draw this picture and, and find uh, points of intersection on lines or anything like that. We get this s equals 2 just by exploring this relationship ahead of time. And I think we can do the same sort of thing for B. Again, the same relationship holds. But uh, what are we told in B? It's not to be an H. We're told H and S. So 3H, 2, B plus H. So that's 2B. Oh, um, H is 3. So 2b plus 6. Uh, so subtract 2b from both sides. b is equal to 6. There we go. So very short a and b. I'd expect both of those are probably worth 2 marks. Maybe one of them is worth 3. Uh, but not much. And now let's... Alright, so if the area of the square is 2017, which is something we can ignore. We can just keep an s squared in there and then eventually substitute 2017 or square root of 2017 for s. But the minimum area of the triangle. So we know the area of the triangle is 1 half base times height. So we just need to minimize bh. All right, now I said arithmetic mean geometric mean earlier, and uh, if you're not familiar with that, it's b plus h over 2 is greater than or equal to the square root of bh. This one here is the arithmetic mean, just the regular old average. This is what's called the geometric mean, or uh, some people have called this the multiplicative average. But if I do that, then the bh, uh, you can square both sides, sure. But then you're putting sort of a cap on the, the BH. Incidentally, uh, the full arithmetic mean, geometric mean is, this is true with equality exactly if B is equal to H. Okay. And if you're not familiar with the arithmetic mean, geometric mean, or AMGM, uh, inequalities are nice to know. They can help you on slightly more difficult uh, contest questions. Um, they're not so much for your standard high school contest, although, you know, as they pop up, this one popped up, I would say, naturally. But inequalities, if you're serious about, you know, eventually competing at a national level or an international level, inequalities are something to be very, very comfortable with. But I'll let you uh, worry about that for yourself. But arithmetic mean, geometric means, pretty common one. Uh, but then we're, we're sort of capping what BH can be, so I'm not exactly happy with that. But um, maybe we can convert. So we could say b plus h squared over 4 is greater than or equal to s b plus h. Uh, b and h are lengths. So b plus h is positive. This is definitely something I would include because I'm about to divide by it. So b plus h is greater than or equal to 4s. I've also brought the 4 over to the other side. 
Um, okay. So now I've got sort of a minimum for BH. Um, well, not BH, but B plus H. Uh, but I can get back to BH just by multiplying by S. There we go, and now the BH is on the, the right side of the inequality to be minimized. So BH over two, the area, is greater than or equal to four S squared with equality when B is equal to H. So we can actually obtain our minimum or our maximum. That's an important thing to know about inequalities. Know when they hold, but also know when you get strict equality. And we know what s squared is. It's two, th it's, um, oh, I have to divide by two here, don't I? Yeah, it's uh, 2017, so two times 2017. So the area is 4,034 at minimum. That minimum comes from B being equal to H. Now, if B and H are equal, can I actually t say what uh, the S is? This would seem to imply that they're equal to 2S, which is 2 times the square root of 2,000. Now, you don't actually need this part. We just want the, the minimum area, but that was just my curiosity. So if you have the same height as you do base, Get a nice little square like that. And the height shouldn't matter. The square should be able to be really lopsided as long as the height is the same as the base. Yeah, yeah, that should work. Uh, you just change where the height intersects the square. But okay, so uh, 4,000. 34, and that's all we really needed, and that, that actually went by pretty quickly uh, with that C, thanks to using the arithmetic mean geometric mean. If you had a way to do the question without the arithmetic mean geometric mean, I would absolutely love to hear about it. Uh, and So you can leave a comment down below, but I think that's going to be it for C3, so we'll wrap up the 2017 paper in the next video. Until then, take care.